16. Be my weirdo and I'll be yours. I absolutely adore weirdos. The writers and theater people and explorers who have a detailed fascination with the odd bits of life. The people who will indulge in an outlandish or mundane hypothetical situation just for the fun of seeing where our thoughts take us. The people who are observing the habits of situations and enjoying how bizarrely funny they are. Can I please tell you about why I can't decide if I would be a live oak or a birch? Could you please explain to me why you're a cedar who gets along so well with mangroves? Would you like to play a game where we spend hours trying to decide if the people we love would be odd or even numbers? Please tell me the very deep-rooted reason why you will only drink hot things before 3 p.m. in the summertime. Tell me your absolute dumbest pet peeve. Do you want to spend an hour trying to decide whether the air nomads would be Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw? Please tell me the stories of all your old nicknames and the first things you notice about new people. Tell me what you realized about life while you were in line to buy a dozen apples at the Harris Teeter self-checkout. I'm dying to have the dumbest, most goofy conversations about how fun it is to wander around past the boundaries of where we're supposed to be. Get way too excited with me about how good it feels to have the perfect opportunity to use the words juncture, plethora, and incendiary. Please be an adult who never lost the joy you brought to curious new things when you were eight. Please laugh with me at the most inappropriate moment during a wedding ceremony because the guy giving the speech said that life was nuts. Let's be the first ones on the dance floor and skip when we feel like it. Let's be the idiots who are having the most fun. The ones who exist in a parallel universe where we can still get bored and play tic-tac-toe in the sand or pretend that we live in a different time period. Could we please run through the mundane reasons why it would actually be super lame to survive the apocalypse? Can we go to fancy parties and drink sh free champagne and sneak into the garden just to see what's there? Can we ask dumb questions and always keep exploring? Can we stop to read the historical plaque and discover a new mystery to add to our list? Be my weirdo and I'll be yours. I'm a no bullshit, all nonsense girl. And if that makes any sense to you, I think we should be best friends and go on an adventure together. Sometimes I am in the world. Sometimes I'm in the world. It's alright. Yep. Yeah.